Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Grammy's Nature Nugget. So glad you're here today. Come and sit on Grammy's quilt. Come on up, kids, all of you. Come on up. Great. Do you remember last week that when we talked about that there are horses in the sea? They're called seahorses, right? Well, today we're going to talk about how many stars there are in the ocean. There are lots of stars. They're called starfish or sea stars. And I think we have a picture up right now. They're, they have uh, a star-shaped echinoderm, and um, they come in a variety of colors, shapes, and sizes. And they are beautiful marine animals. Today I brought with me a, a very um, small sea star and or starfish. And this is the top side. And this is the bottom side. The center, the very center is the mouth of the sea star. But you can see if you can just see very small um, discolorations and stuff where the stripes are going down on the arms. It's just so interesting. Anyway, it's kind of little, but very beautiful. Um, most common sea stars have five arms, and they can grow up to 40 arms. They have two feet, and that's what they travel with. They can regenerate a, a lost arm, but it can take up to a year. They are called starfish. We have, I have been raised to call them starfish, but they are not fish. They don't have gills or scales or fins, so they're not really a fish. Um, scientists call them sea stars. So there are thousands and thousands of sea stars in the ocean. And um, they are related to a sand dollar. Very small again. Or sea urchin. They don't look like they can belong in the same family, do they? But they are. And they also are related to sea cucumbers. Sea stars live in the deep ocean, or at the bottom, and they are in inner tidal pools. Um, sea stars can live in warm or in cold climates of the ocean. If a sea star loses an arm, it takes about a year for it to grow back. Sea stars do not have blood. They have seawater pumped into their vascular system, and their mouth is on the underside of their body. Sea stars move using hundreds of tube feet. They're little tiny balls or tubes, and these tube feet help them to hold their prey. Um, I brought a picture today that shows a sea star. And it says, God made the sea star. You can color that almost any color you like because sea stars come in so many colors. So color it any one you want. And there's a muscle down at the bottom and a coral on the side. So enjoy that. That's such a beautiful animal. And this has the typical five arms on it. Okay. Sea stars have an eye on the end of each one of their arms. So that means that if they have five arms, they have five eyes. If they have 40 arms, they have 40 eyes. Now, their eyes don't see the detail that our eyes do, but they um, 
can see light and dark and some movement. Each eye is a red spot on the end of their arm. You can't tell the difference between a male or a female um, sea star, but they all have this bony calcified skin. There are 2,000 species of sea stars. They survive only in salt water. When they eat, they eat outside of their bodies. Their stomach actually comes out through their mouth and wraps around their prey. Now there are three poisonous sea stars. And there's the sun star, the leather star, and the crown of thorn star. They cause minor to severe toxicity in humans. Starfish have no brain, so there's no ability to plan their actions. And starfish live a long life. They live 35 years or more. Um, God made this sea star for us to enjoy, and it is a beautiful animal. So let's thank God this morning for the sea star. Father, thank you so much for giving us these variety in shapes and colors and sizes of animals that are in the ocean. They're also magnificent, Lord. I pray that you will bless each child here today that is listening, that they will have learned something about the sea star. And I pray, God, that you will walk with us each day of our lives. And I ask that in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks so much for being here today. See you next time. Bye.